So I'm here with Aditya Mittal. Hello, Aditya, how are you? Very well, how are you? Good, thanks for uh, giving me a few minutes of your time here. So I, I understand it's the uh, anniversary, one year anniversary of the merger uh, or the acquisition, right, with uh, Mittal and Arcelor last year? It's the, it's the annual anniversary of, of, of the merger, not the acquisition. It finally became a merger, not an acquisition. Things are going very well. Uh, everyone is excited. I'm excited. The whole company is excited. We're doing good things together. We're making progress. And we are uh, forecasting a much stronger 2007. So you're number one worldwide by four times, you said? Yes, we are almost four times larger than the next competitor. But we want to grow more. We have not stopped yet. We want to grow in Asia. We want to be bigger in China and in India. So what, what's the point of, of being so dominant? You, you're not afraid of, of getting too big, actually, in, into a, too much of a dominant position? We're not, we're not at all dominant, actually. Even though we're four times larger than the next competitor, we are about 10% of the global steel industry. The steel industry has been fragmented forever. If you look at automotive, the top five are about 70% of the global automotive industry. The top five in steel are only 30%. So there's a lot of room to grow. Everyone should grow bigger. Everyone should become more consolidated and create, the, create a healthier environment for all of us. But what's the point of, of becoming that big, uh, except, except business-wise, business of course? It, it, it makes sense because uh, you have a global platform uh, and then you can share technology, share ideas, share creativity. People can work for a global company. It's already hard to attract talent into the steel industry. People look at the steel industry as being boring, as being very local. This way, if we have operations in 27 countries around the world, someone who gets a job in France can end up working in the U.S. or in Mexico or in Canada or in Germany, which is quite exciting because you, you have a chance to see the world as well as improve uh, the company and develop your career. How did you see the reaction uh, and how you see them a year after of, of the French, of course, being French, I have to address that question with you, uh, of, you know, uh, the socialist, Arnaud Montbourg was saying, uh, uh, actually, in a, in, a, in a conversation I had with him, was saying you were stealing the European steel and, uh, and you, would, you were jeopardizing the, the country and uh, also some government officials who were clearly not in favor of, of the uh, merger, right? How do you see that a year after? I, th I think there was a lot of misunderstanding. People did not know who we were and what we wanted to do with a combined company. Uh, today the misunderstanding is not there anymore. People are aware that we have a strong industrial logic, a strong industrial plan, uh, the company is stronger, uh, the employees are happier, we're investing in Europe, we've become a European champion, not only a, a, a global champion, but a very strong European champion. We have 80 billion in revenue, uh, one of the largest industrial companies in Europe. So I think today everyone in Europe is proud of, about ArcelorMittal and rightly so. So, and how about jobs? They were uh, uh, feared, fearing that you would cut jobs. Did you do that? Another misunderstanding. No, we did not cut jobs. Uh, people are, uh, we have a lot more to do, so people are, are continuing. The, the company is efficient, the company is productive. There will be natural attrition and, and, and voluntary retirement as people grow old, but there have been no job cuts since the merger has been announced. But how do you explain they were so frightened, Aditya? Uh, how, how, you know, because they, they were, it was, you were making the news every single day on, on, on you know, the evil empire arriving and, and stealing the steel. So how, how do you see this? Because you're saying it's positive, and I trust you on that, of course. Uh, the world gets flat right but you know do you see France as being too old-fashioned and not understanding it no I, I don't see France being like that I don't think uh, if you ask the average person in France they were against this transaction uh, there were some people who misunderstood uh, they didn't like the idea they didn't like the concept uh, as we talked to them explained to them who we are what the industrial plan is they changed their minds they understood that this makes sense for Europe and for our floor. Last question, and I'll let you to your schedule, Aditya. How do you see uh, uh, Davos this year? What are your two or three key topics you're, you're looking at? The biggest topic in Davos this year is global warming. Uh, everyone's been talking about it, which is very important, because the awareness of global warming has to spread. Uh, there's been a lack of awareness, I think, at the, at the highest levels on, on global warming. Uh, apart from that, Davos has not been as exciting or as much buzz as, as normally, and uh, uh, primarily because... Uh, uh, I, I don't know, I, I can't put my... With such a, such a power you have in your company, uh, c c are you doing something for a global warming and environment to help reduce the, uh, I mean, solve the problem? Yeah, we're doing a lot. Uh, it's never enough, but we're doing a lot. The first thing we're doing is we're investing in ULCOS, which is a revolutionary technology to reduce the emissions in, in steel that are produced. Uh, hopefully that will come on stream. We're investing in our facilities which are in developing countries which do not need to have those environmental standards. 
but we're imposing higher standards on them. We're imposing World Bank standards, which means our facilities in places like Kazakhstan are above the environmental requirements. The third thing is you must understand steel is not at the end of the day uh, an environmentally problematic material. Steel can be recycled. Steel is a good material. It's a clean material. So uh, from that perspective, we're doing our, our bit for the environment. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you.